Faith Pollington and I was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan to a single mother who worked often. On the weekends when my mother worked, I spent a lot of time up north with my grandparents or with my friend's family. I remember spending a lot of time outside and traveling to different places. There was many times when I would have a disposable camera with me or my friend's mom would be taking pictures of us. My family has always wondered how I came to love photography so much and film. Honestly, they have been around me my whole life. When you were little, I did uh, the videoing of you, the taking a ton of pictures of you because I knew that time was going to pass fast. I wanted to capture it on video. I wanted to remember all those little things that you do, all the little quirky things, all the, just the little cuteness. You seem to be interested in um, like taking, well, not taking pictures. You were interested in taking my video camera from me or my camera when I was taking pictures of you or videos of you. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna do it, I wanna see. Singing? Let me listen to you. You sing for mommy? In sixth grade is when I got my first phone. This is the time where I became more interested in photography. With my phone, I practiced different shots and would watch YouTube videos to see what different photos I could take. When watching YouTube videos, I found that having a camera would help me become better. One Christmas, I begged for a camera. I watched many YouTube videos about cameras and lenses and I got a Canon Rebel T6. This is when I really fell in love with photography. I started to explore photography more than just taking pictures of sunsets and flowers. I tried setting up a little photo shoot with my baby sister and other siblings many times. I tried using Christmas lights and other objects around me. I mostly fell in love with taking pictures of nature though. We took many trips over the years and of course I took my camera everywhere we went. Begging my family to stop on the side of highways because the mountains and the sky were too beautiful not to stop. Or running down the winding highways of Oregon with my papa to take pictures of the gorgeous red bridge. There was many times that my Aunt Judy would take me out to take pictures. She would take me out to this place called Frederick Meyer Gardens and let me run around the park and take pictures of everything and anything. She thought I had an eye for photography and loved seeing what pictures I had taken by the end of the day. When looking into colleges, I was planning on going to be a dental assistant. When I was growing up, my mother always wanted me to be a nurse, and I didn't want to be a nurse, so I thought being a dental assistant would be the closest thing to being a nurse for me. I always wanted to go to school for photography and make a little business out of it, but I was worried about money. I also felt that I wouldn't be able to make a job out of photography. I saw an ad one day for Full Sail and decided I would apply. I surprisingly got in. I never thought I would move down to Florida since it was so far from home and how much money it was to live on my own. When finally deciding on what college I would go to, I decided Full Sail for filming. Even though I was worried about money and not being able to make a career out of filming or photography, I wanted to have a job that I would be happy with for the rest of my life instead of being unhappy with a safe job. I hope to one day work with National Geographic or a production company and be a camera operator. Mm -hmm.